As many people remember, the series Total Dram Island began premiering on the Canadian channel Teletoon on July 8th, 2007 and June 5th, 2008 for Americans. It was intended to be a parody of survival shows that were broadcasting at the time. I used to be part of the staff who worked on the show and got to see the episodes while they were being edited and I supervised them. I got to see many bizarre and strange things at my job. One of the writers who requested to be uncredited in the series had suggested very morbid and dark ideas for the show. For the second episode, he wanted to have one of the contestants, Justin, be torn to shreds by the sharks, instead of being saved by them. For the 19th episode, he intended for Duncan to disembowel Chef Ratchet with a chainsaw. We rejected these ideas, since there would be no way that a channel for children would accept that type of material in their network. The writer started to get very pissed at us towards the end of the season. After the 27th episode was produced, he wanted to make a whole episode by himself with help from mostly nobody. He only wanted the voice actors to record their lines. With weeks after weeks of working on this special episode he liked to call it, his project was completed. The writer did not want anyone to see this episode at the time and you will read why. I got on his laptop in a day he called in sick for work. I looked for the episode in the laptop and found it in the videos section. He named the file TPI-28. I found it weird that he did not name the episode, but I did not think much of it. After a brief pause, the laptop played the file. The episode started with the campers at Blind the Losers having a celebration of the last day of being on the island. The host. Chris with a briefcase suddenly appears out of nowhere and says that everyone has a chance of winning a prize of one million dollars. It should also be noted that something was very unusual with the way that he spoke. It felt like Chris had this uneasy tone of malice with every word he said. He then announces that he will hide the briefcase somewhere on the island and whoever finds it gets the money inside. He appears to drop the case somewhere off screen and the campers quickly travel back to the island in groups in order to look for it. One of the other things I noticed while viewing the episode was that the animation looked much cruder than normal. The backgrounds weren't as detailed and colorful as they should be in an official episode of the show. Since the unnamed writer worked on the project all by himself, I figured that the animation quality would not be on par with the standards that the studio had. One of the campers, Owen, starts to travel into the woods to search for the briefcase. After looking for a while, he does not find anything. He honestly thought of giving up the challenge. Owen then spots a sign that says free money. He approaches it and accidentally trips on a wire that was attached to a tree. Owen then gets impaled through the chest by a spear that got triggered by the movement of the wire. The groups of the other campers began to split up to find the briefcase. The first group consisting of around eight campers decided to look around the kitchen to hopefully spot the prize. While this goes on, Chris sneaks into the kitchen and places a timed pipe bomb inside one of the cabinets of the kitchen. He gets back out undetected before anybody could see him. The campers still inside the kitchen starts to hear a faint ticking sound somewhere in their surroundings. The campers think that the sound is coming from the briefcase, indicating that they are close to it. While they are looking, the ticking gets louder and louder. The sounds start to intensify to the point where Jeff, one of the campers decides to open a cabinet close to where the pipe bomb was placed. The pipe bomb explodes as soon as the cabinet was opened. Heaps of severed limbs and entrails covered the parameter of the kitchen. The few campers that survived the explosion got out of kitchen quickly so they could warn the others about the incident. Little did they know that Chef Ratchet was standing outside of the kitchen with a loaded AK-47 in hand. The chef opened fire on all of the remaining campers in the group and slaughtered them all. I started to get very disturbed at this episode. I knew that the writer was a sick psycho, but this was going beyond the line. 
an episode of Chris and Chef killing all the campers? What kind of twisted mind would write such material that even crosses the line set by adult cartoons? After reflecting on what I've seen for a little while, I decided to continue to watch the horror that was unfolding in this gruesome special. The next scene took place around where the cabins for the island were located. Another group of campers was held in on their hunt for the briefcase. One of the members of the group, Carol said to the others, I'm going to search through this cabin for the Mua, if you guys don't mind. Everybody agreed, probably to get rid of him, and the rest went off to look in other cabins. Harold ended up passing out in the one that he was in after getting very fatigued from his thorough examination. The remaining group members looked inside another cabin for the cash. Duncan soon found a briefcase under a bed and claimed it as his money. He curiously opened the briefcase and a large amount of anthrax came out of it. Most of the campers had been killed from this, except for B.J. He got out of the cabin the moment the case was opened and tried to find anybody left alive. Inside a tent in the island, Chris and Chef Ratchet were watching the campers be killed one by one through hidden security cameras. They were laughing and joking about the deaths of the campers. One of the very morbid jokes were, I guess he got screwed. Referring to a person who got a long screw drilled in their head from a trap. Afterwards, they stopped laughing when they saw P.J. wandering around the island. They got out of the room and went towards his way. P.J. then spotted them and tried to run away from the two demented psychopaths. He soon found that running was futile, since Chef and Chris both had weapons and there was traps set up all over the island. Have any questions? Chris said to DJ with the same tone of malice he had earlier on in the episode. Why is everybody dying around here? DJ responded back. Well DJ, we had this show to make people around the world laugh at the stupidity of campers. We decided to prove their stupidity further, by having everybody drop like flies in the traps right in front of them. We can't just wait to hear people laughing at their deaths, thinking they are fictional. Chris said. BJ used this to try to distract Chris and Chef, as a chance to get away from them. That was proven wrong, when Chris threw a machete at BJ and it hit him right in the back. He screamed as he fell right to the ground. Chef took the machete out of DJ's back and dismembered him piece by piece. Finally. Chris exclaimed in relaxation. When DJ got killed, Chris and Chef Ratchet thought that they have killed all of the campers. Chris then recalled that Carol fell asleep while searching in one of the cabins. They looked and soon found where Harold was located. After they arrived, Chef Ratchet poured lighter fluid around the cabin and Chris looked the match. The cabin was in flames and Harold did not wake up in time to save himself from being burned alive. Chef and Chris went on a helicopter they had and flew away. The episode transitioned to the shots of the island after the massacre with a faint sound of wine in the background. After about 30 seconds of the horrific displays from Carnage, the episode then cuts to Chris and Chef in the helicopter again. They began discussing how to top the butchery for next season, until Chef showed pictures of potential contestants to use. The contestants looked like prototypes of the characters that would later be featured in Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. Chris then muttered, Perfect. And left, as the video faded to black. I was disgusted by the video. Why would the writer create such a sick episode like this? The next day he was at the studio, I went to his room and asked questions about the episode. His only response was, Sometimes, everyone needs to be disposed of. I then attempted to report everything that had just happened to the director of the show. We got on the writer's laptop and the video containing the episode was no longer present inside the folder I had found it in. That sick idiot deleted it. The director doubted me and told me that everything was fine. Later that day, I quit my job 
and producer of Total Drama. When the show started to air around the world, I later discovered that plot points and even footage from that twisted special were actually used in an episode titled, Total Drama, 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 Drama Island. There was no way that fragments from that nightmare were actually broadcasted. Well, at least kids were not exposed to what I have seen. Somewhere in Total Drama Studio, probably hidden away somewhere, is that sickening special. I even bet that, while working on the other series of Total Drama, that writer had more sinister ideas in mind, and he is still secretly making more of these episodes for his own sadistic form of amusement.